We have the honor of wearing imposes duty upon us. In joining the orders, we made a promise. By receiving the investitures of that understanding and, and night, we were transformed. Our life has been changed, not only because of an oath of allegiance, but above all, because we have responded to a call that binds us to precise commitments, particularly to those most in need, following the example of the 16 Grand Masters that preceded my father in the governance of the Order of St. Lawrence and Lazarus, and the thousands of days and nights when more than four centuries of history have written extraordinary pages of generosity, of love for our homeland, of love for the House of Savoy, but above all, of love for our neighbors. I say these things first of all to myself before sharing them with you. As you know, I'm providing even more support to my father, our Grand Master, in the challenging task to lead the Savoy Nike militia that they never came from my grandfather the king. Every day I realize the complexity and challenges imposed by a world increasingly narrowed by logics, far from chivalric ideas. To face them, we need to measure ourselves with new language, without losing sight of the dynamism of our timeless values, the strength of the tradition, the purity of living the present with a head and eye, and having the courage to know how to change when history imposes us changes. This year, with your head, the dynastic order of the, of the House of Savoy have been able to donate more than three and a half million dollars to charities around the world. We have achieved a long-term record with more than 240 events in 36 active delegations around the world. I'm proud of that. You should all be proud of that. All this, however, must spur us to do even more. This is the courage of the Mauritian tradition. This is the legacy of the House of Savoy I'm trying to pass to my daughters, Victoria and Louisa. I would like to thank our delegate, Joseph Chiang, his team, and all the very generous donors who made this event such a great success, especially during those difficult and challenging times. The important children's causes that you're supporting tonight help us to continue together the central tradition of my family, helping the underprivileged, whose, whose needs are so much greater than our own. In conclusion, allow me to extend my congratulations to our Grand Master Victor Emmanuel for this year to celebrate his 40th anniversary as head of the Royal House of Civil. On behalf of my parents, my wife and my daughters, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year. May God bless and preserve you and your family. Thank you.